on either side of the Chance family was their son, Todd Chance, who passed away six years ago. Now, the jury spent more than a week deliberating and family members huddling together outside of the courtroom, anxiously awaiting the verdict today. The 12 jurors ultimately decided the former Fairview Elementary School principal Leslie Chance shot and killed her husband, Todd Chance, back in 2013 after his body was discovered in an almond orchard off of Enos Lane and Noriega Road in northwest Bakersfield. Chance was initially arrested right after the killing in 2013, but released shortly after when her case was sent back to the sheriff's office for further review. Two years later, in December of 2016, Chance was rearrested. Then last summer, her case was ruled a mistrial following a conflict of interest with the district attorney's office. Then in December, her case returned to the courtroom for a retrial. The prosecution argued Leslie Chance killed Todd because of an affair with a past fiance. Her attorney, Tony Lidget, called a lead detective on the case dirty, and he argued that Kern County's trust in law enforcement may have played a key role in the jury's decision. It's, we live in Kern County. I'm born and raised in this town too as well. This is a very conservative jurisdiction. We believe in law enforcement, even if law enforcement did what they did in this case. So law enforcement is telling you that this is the individual. But you got to remember, they, they went, what, 2013, they released her, and those three years had passed. And then they even tried to, when their case, they knew their case was weak, they even tried to interview the girls to see what they would have to say. Lidget says this is the first case that has made him feel down on law enforcement, and he continued to question the way Detective Brewer handled the evidence. Leslie and her daughters were both crying in the courtroom today, and Todd's mother was also shedding tears following the ruling. Todd's parents told 23 ABC News even though they are feeling a small sense of closure now that they know the truth about who killed their son, neither side of the Chance family won. But they did say, as I mentioned earlier, that their son Todd is the only person who claimed a victory today and prosecuting attorneys also enjoyed reveling in the win they have been seeking for six years. I'm delighted that it's over. I'm incredibly happy for the family. Uh, Todd's parents have been, they've been through hell. They really have been. And, uh, you know, my, my, my heart goes out to them because I can't imagine what it'd be like to have your son's own wife kill him. Now, sentencing is set for March 2nd, and according to the prosecution, Leslie Chance could face up to 50 years to life in prison with an opportunity of parole. But for now, we'll leave it there. In Central Bakersfield, I'm Tori Cooper for 23ABC News, connecting you.